Have you ever woken up one day and your teeth began to hurt for no apparent reason? Tooth pain can be caused by a number of different conditions. Some are simple to resolve on your own, while others will necessitate a visit to your general dentist. Here are some of the most common reasons for tooth pain. You clench your teeth. Clenching is one of the most common causes of tooth pain. When people are angry, concentrating, or in tense situations, they often clench their jaws. When you clench your jaw, you put pressure on your teeth that they are not designed to withstand. This poor coping mechanism can cause your teeth to ache or even become loose over time. You may be clenching your jaw if you get toothaches after being stressed or angry. Finding alternative ways to cope with stress and emotions can help to alleviate tooth pain. You are grinding your teeth. Some people cope with stress and anger by grinding their teeth. Many people unknowingly grind their teeth at night. If you suspect that you are grinding your teeth while sleeping, consult your dentist about possible solutions. Wearing a mouth guard while sleeping to protect your teeth is one of the simplest ways to stop toothaches caused by grinding. You rinse your mouth too frequently. Using an oral rinse on a daily basis can help maintain good dental health. Overdoing it, on the other hand, can be harmful. Tooth sensitivity can result from using mouthwash several times per day. This is because many mouthwashes contain acids that damage the middle layer of your teeth. If you have tooth pain and find yourself reaching for your mouthwash several times a day, reducing the number of times you swish to once or twice a day could be the solution. You've got a sinus infection. Tooth pain in your back upper teeth is a common sign of a sinus infection. This makes sense given the proximity to your nasal passages. If you have tooth pain and are feeling stuffy, you may be suffering from a sinus infection. You should see a doctor to get the proper treatment. You have TMJ syndrome. The temporomandibular joint, or TMJ, is responsible for the movement of your jaw up and down. This joint is essentially a hinge that connects your jaw and skull. Arthritis, injury, and other conditions can cause parts of your TMJ to malfunction. When you chew, this can cause a lot of pain in your jaw and teeth. If you believe you are having TMJ problems, consult your dentist. You're expectant. Gingivitis is more likely during pregnancy. Gingivitis is an inflammation of the gums that can cause bloody gums and tooth pain. You are also more likely to develop cavities while pregnant. Pay close attention to your dental health during pregnancy, and you may want to visit your dentist. You work out excessively hard. This is one of the more unusual causes of tooth pain. According to research, endurance training can cause tooth enamel to wear down, increasing the likelihood of cavities. Cavities are more likely with more intense workout schedules. It's unclear why this is happening but it could be due to a change in saliva production during exercise. If you're training for a triathlon and experiencing tooth pain, your rigorous training regimen could be to blame. You've had nerve damage. A condition known as trigeminal neuralgia is one possible but uncommon cause of tooth pain. This is a type of nerve damage that causes chronic nerve pain in your head that can feel like a toothache at times. Pain can be caused by eating, drinking, and brushing your teeth. Though this condition is uncommon, if you are experiencing chronic pain, it may be worth seeing your doctor. You are having heart problems. Tooth pain, when combined with other symptoms, can sometimes be an indication of heart problems. A heart attack can cause pain in your upper body, including your neck, shoulders, teeth, and jaw. Pay close attention if you are also experiencing sweating, chest pain, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, or nausea in addition to mouth pain. You've recently had your teeth whitened. Some teeth whitening products may cause tooth pain. Two to three days after beginning a whitening treatment, tooth sensitivity may occur. 
The tooth sensitivity may go away after a few days or may last longer depending on your teeth. Whitening your teeth can also cause irritation to your gums. Consult your general dentist if you are in a lot of pain while undergoing whitening treatment. They may advise you to discontinue the treatment or switch to a gentler whitening agent. Your gums are sinking. The nerves in your teeth are protected by your gums. They pull back as they recede. Exposing the nerves and causing tooth sensitivity and pain. Receding gums can be caused by brushing too hard for an extended period of time, or they can be a symptom of something more serious, such as gum disease. Bad breath, bloody gums when brushing, mouth sores, and pus are all signs of gum disease. Make an appointment with your dentist if these symptoms accompany your tooth pain. You've got oral cancer. Chronic mouth and tooth pain that does not go away is a symptom of oral cancer. If your mouth or teeth hurt and the pain does not go away, or if you notice an unusual bump or odd-colored patch, notify your dentist so that they can perform an oral cancer screening. You consume too many acidic foods. Highly acidic foods can erode the enamel on your teeth. Citrus, soda, coffee, and sugary candies are examples of these foods. When the enamel on your teeth wears away, your teeth become more vulnerable to painful tooth decay or nerve exposure. If you consume a lot of acidic foods, reduce your intake and try eating a more balanced diet to avoid unnecessary tooth pain. You frequently vomit. When you vomit, stomach acid can get on your teeth. When this occurs frequently, the strong acid can cause extensive damage to your teeth. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, chronic alcoholism, pregnancy, and bulimia are all conditions associated with frequent vomiting. Too much vomiting can harm your teeth, causing tooth pain and other problems. If you suspect this is the source of your tooth pain, consult your doctor to discuss treatment options. You are not drinking enough water. For a variety of reasons, not drinking enough water can be detrimental to your teeth. Water washes away leftover food particles stuck in your teeth after eating. The water in many residential areas contains fluoride, which helps your teeth retain their strength. Staying hydrated also prevents the negative side effects of having a dry mouth. Drink plenty of water to keep your teeth healthy and prevent tooth pain.